Welcome to iLecture Online. Now we're going to define the sine of a half angle in terms of a whole angle. So how do we do that? Well, we start with, the, with another identity, which is that the sine square of the angle A, so here this is the same angle here, but there it's, it's in half. This is equal to one half times one minus the cosine of 2A. Well, if you say, well, where did that come from? Well, we can go ahead and show that that's indeed the case by first multiplying both sides by 2, so we end up with 2 times the sine square of a, which is equal to 1 minus the cosine of 2a. Then, of course, we have the cosine of a double angle. So this can be written as 1 minus the cosine of a plus a, the sum of the two angles a. And that can be rewritten as follows. So this can be written as 2 times the sine square of a is equal to 1 minus and the cosine of a plus a, which would be equal to the cosine of a times the cosine of a minus the sine of a sine a. Or equivalently, this can be written as 2 times the sine square of a equals 1 minus the cosine square of a and minus times a minus, which is plus the sine square of a. And then we can subtract the sine square of a from both sides, bring it to the other side. So this becomes the sine square of a equals 1 minus the cosine square of a. And now if we bring the cosine over, we can write that the sine square of a plus the cosine square of a is equal to 1. And we know that to be true, so therefore this is equal, this is true. All right, if that's true, what we can do then is we can take this expression and then instead of writing the sine square of a, we can write the sine square of a half angle. So we're going to divide that angle by 2, so we can write that the sine square of a over 2 is therefore equal to 1 half times 1 minus the cosine of 2a over 2 or simply a. So we also take the half angle of this and the half angle of that. And then we can take the square root of both sides. So now we can write that the sine of a over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus the cosine of a divided by 2. And that is the equivalent expression for the sine of a half angle, or in other words, the identity of the sine of a half angle. And that is how it's derived.